Italy has one of the largest disproportionate number of people over the age of 100 compared to the general population. I just spent 10 days in Italy, and the experience for me was incredible. And it really opened my eyes to an explanation of why there may be so many people living so long in Italy compared to especially the U.S. And what I witnessed was a couple of things. Number one, I think it's the food, it's the family, it's the wine they're drinking, it's their physical activity, and it's their faith. And I'll kind of break down those. So the, the thing that really stood out to me is the food that we eat. The food is impeccable. And I think the difference here is they're sourcing it locally. So the food we ate for lunch or for dinner was locally sourced that day. And I think it's free of chemicals. And, you know, if I were to eat pizza in the U.S., it causes a lot of gastric discomfort and my joints ache. And so I can't eat pizza. Eat pizza in Italy, no gastric discomfort, no gastric distress. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's very delicious. Number two was this sense of family. You know, they're very, very family oriented. Family members still live with the, the mother and the father and there's their sense of community. And the other is their faith. You know, we visited many churches. The Catholic faith is extremely strong there. They're extremely religious. So this fact that they're looking for, you know, life everlasting and this life extends beyond our human life and looking to God and, and Christ as the, the Redeemer, I think that has an enormous amount of uh, impact on their longevity. The other thing, which is physical activity. You know, everybody is walking in Italy. And where we were in Tuscany, it's very hilly. In Cortona specifically, you know, there's inclines that may be 10 to 15 degree inclines. And these old people, 70, 80, 90 years old, they're up there walking the streets, walking the inclines, 70, 80 year old people riding bikes along the countryside. They're not getting in cars. They're not sedentary. They're physically active. The other thing that I noticed is the difference in the wine. I went to a wine tasting and Italian wines for you know, extremely clean. There's no sulfites added. There's no glycerin added to, to, to affect the, uh, the legs of the wine, no preservatives added. And so it's very clean. And the other thing is they consider wine a living spirit and it's part of their food. In fact, most Italians will have a glass of wine with their food, with their lunch, with their dinner. And if typically if I have more than one glass of wine here in the U.S., I have a headache the next day and it doesn't sit well with me. My mouth turns purple and I enjoy a nice glass of wine. But there I would have two, three, sometimes four glasses of wine over dinner, no hangover, no headache, my mouth didn't turn purple. And so it's just a different quality of wine and how they manufacture and produce the wine. And all of this on top of the fact that most people smoke. So think about smoking. I mean, everybody was smoking in Italy. Most people smoke. And yet they're still living longer despite the fact that they're smoking. So just think about how protective their diet, their lifestyle, their sense of community their faith is to overcome the known damaging effects of smoking. And so for me, it's a, it's a wonderful lifestyle. We, we need to kind of adopt that and incorporate that here in America. We have to get rid of processed foods. We have to get rid of preservatives in the foods we eat. We have to move. We have to exercise. And we have to have this sense of family and community and you know importance and well-being. And then I think a strong faith, no matter what your religion is, you know, guided by principles, uh, living with a servant's heart, living to serve others, I think that leads to increased health. And for me, at least, as a biochemist and physiologist, I think it's what's contributing to the longevity of people living in Italy. And obviously, there are other cultures that had the same, very similar lifestyle, but it was obvious and apparent to me when I was there for 10 days that this is a lifestyle that leads to longevity. So if you haven't visited Italy, haven't experienced the food, the lifestyle, the culture, I highly encourage it. It was life-changing for me, and I've actually tried to implement some of those lifestyles as I've come back to the U.S.